what it up what's up youtube shotgun shogun here and uh this video is gonna come out at like i don't know six o'clock or something like that because guess what i didn't wake up for the patch notes video this morning you want to know why because it was a whole lot of stuff that we already knew with a couple of things that were probably pretty disappointing um we're gonna get into that but uh i kind of figured it was gonna be a 15 minute video this morning or a live stream this morning so you know what i just intentionally I intentionally decided to sleep through all of my alarms and then wake up really late. Uh, but if you're new here, welcome, welcome. If you're not new here, welcome back. And I'd like to give a big shout out to the Over 65 crew. That's right, the Over 65 plusers. There's about 2% of you. Uh, I'd also like to give a huge shout out to the 9% of you who are either, who are neither subscribed or unsubscribed. I was looking at my analytics last night and it was like 48.6% of you are subscribed and 42.6% of you are not subscribed. So where the rest of you are, I have no clue. I don't understand how that works. You guys are the, uh, you guys are both subscribed and subscribed at the same time. It's, it's weird. Thank you, YouTube analytics. Uh, anyways, uh, YouTube, uh, let's talk about some content. Oh, by the way, maintenance notification today. Uh, and I'd also like to say that if you wanna stop the video at any point, to correct me on how I'm wrong, give it like 30 seconds before you do. Uh, because chances are I, I probably corrected myself and we can just save ourselves the hassle. Or you know what, don't. Actually, actually, whenever I'm wrong, pause the video, make a comment about it, and then don't correct it because that gives me interaction in, this, in the uh, comment section. You know what? So that's actually perfectly fine. Uh, I take back everything that I said. Okay, grace of growth. Uh, now we already looked at this. Um, yeah, free interaction YouTubes. I don't even have to pay for that stuff. It's easy. Yeah, easy, easy interaction. Okay, so we already know a little bit about this because of the, you know, the stuff that's coming down the pipes, right? So you got to clear 1010. Uh, some people are probably going to complain about that already. Uh, they're going to be like, oh my God, dude, I can't clear 1010. Why can't I use this feature of the game? This is completely unacceptable. Uh, how to register your hero. Uh, when certain conditions are met, the menu will be unlocked stage by stage. And one of the, uh, and one of the heroes in possession can be registered and applied for set growth status. Uh, status growth is applied from level, grade, awakening, and skill enhancements. If the hero has already attained a higher growth status than what is being granted, then the highest status will be applied after comparing the growth status among heroes. So if the number, the total number of skill enhancements is equal, it will be applied as the skill enhancement information you set. You can register a hero immediately after unlocking the previous stage if, your own, if you own heroes that meet the conditions before the update. However, you cannot unlock the next stage before unlocking all of the previous stages. Well, that makes that makes sense. Uh, yeah, that makes sense because, well, first off, yeah, how are you going to have skill enhancement of a starting five grade hero to plus 15 uh, if you don't have a level 50, a level 50? I guess level you could have some level 50s without level 60s yeah anyways yeah just just to have this stuff done it goes in order uh, it's not really that hard you cannot register an ingredient hero a starting two star grade or lower hero or a moonlight blessing hero i can't put fodder characters in here are you kidding me are you kidding me smile gate i need my mighty mouse to clear banshee 13 this is some this is some bs and this is this is unacceptable i need to put rock god in here and make him plus 60 plus 12 i can't believe this travesty what about my danger doggo you know what about uh, what about my other what if i wanted to use ingredient characters my chocolate slime to meme on people in RTA. I cannot believe 
that Smilegate would do this. Probably because they can't be plus 12, they can only be plus 10. Uh, yeah. They didn't want to just code, code it differently. Um, unacceptable. I can't believe that they would do this. Somebody's going to actually legitimately complain about that at some point. Uh, yeah. All right, so... Uh, stage one, 50, 50 awakened to five star gives you plus three, plus six, plus 12. Um, registers heroes cannot be transmitted. You, oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, I should probably turn TTS off during this, uh, during this video or else you guys are gonna, you guys are gonna meme all over it. Okay. We're turning that off. If you use TTS right now, rip minus 500. Get wrecked, nerds. Uh, anyways, heroes leaving, receiving a lead battle buff. Lead hero buff in the side story cannot be registered for grace of growth. This is actually bad. Yo, this is actually bad. This is... So any new character that comes out, you cannot test them before they're gone. Wow, get jabated. Get actually debated rip rip content creators y'all thought y'all thought that you were going to be able to just pull the character instantly plus 60 plus 12 it take it into masters arena and make a youtube video in 37 seconds after the units come out not now you aren't get rolled uh this actually sucks though because this a lot this doesn't allow people to uh to test the unit before it's over meaning that you know uh sucks to suck yeah i actually think this kind of sucks um by the way this patch notes brought to you by uh gamer subs gg subs use the link in the comment section or the description uh or code shotgun at, at checkout so that i can get paid just saying i appreciate it uh anyways yeah no this is pretty terrible uh test them in the side story um it is really dumb yeah it kind of defeats a lot of the purpose yeah yeah it, it does and this isn't really very good um, original hero stats will be displayed when entering the detail screen such as skill enhancement level up awaken memory imprint at promotion from the hero screen applied stats from the grace of growth will be displayed on the screen uh, such as manage equipment okay uh, original stats of the hero will be displayed when using potion of ascension okay uh, the registered hero can acquire experience and friendship according to the original hero status when completing battle or a dispatch mission at least you can still uh, you can probably still try ML heroes yeah ML heroes you'll be able to do this with but like RGB heroes yeah you won't be able to um, you can equip exclusive equipment if the registered hero is awakened to five star or higher by grace of growth um, heroes registered for grace of, grace of growth cannot be used for arena defense guild wars defense world boss supporter or world boss team uh, if a hero is already being used for any of this above it cannot be registered for grace of growth okay uh, grace of growth effect cannot be used in ancient inheritance uh, you didn't need to use it in ancient inheritance really anyways um, other than like the plus 12 would have made a difference but outside of that it wouldn't have um now i saw something where if you like one of the things that they really don't show uh because I, I made sure to scroll down before before i did anything with it right uh so that i would have all of the some of the information um it, it doesn't tell you how the plus 12 is is uh distributed right um it also doesn't somebody was saying that you can plus 15 if you already put like plus three into it it would then become plus 15 um that's really what i i would be interested in right um how does the plus 12 work like it doesn't even show in this picture right Like, how is it, how is it distributed? 
do you distribute it? Do you get plus 12 for free? Um, yeah, that would be good to know. I mean, obviously we'll know after we get it, but it would be good to know right now. Huh. Yeah, that would be that would be interesting. I, I hope it coincides with friendship. Like, yeah, if you have like f plus ten friendship and then you have that, you can plus fifteen it. Uh, I think that would be fine, right? You will not be able to register the next hero for seventy two hours after withdrawing, but you can pay seven hundred and twenty sky stones to skip. That's a lot of sky stones. That is a massive amount of sky stones to to skip three days. I can't imagine anybody is gonna waste that many sky stones just to slam something else in. That's kind of ridiculous. Like 10 sky stones, 20 sky stones, yeah, maybe. 720 sky stones? Absolutely not. That is a lot of refreshes. Five per 30 minutes? Yeah, that's stupid. Yeah, that's dumb, man. All right, Moonlight Theater. This is one of the things I'm really interested in right here. Uh, this is gonna be pretty cool. I wanna know more about, ever since Moonlight Theater first and like dropped, I was, I was super hyped for it. I was really big, big hype for this. Um, so the first episode of Moonlight Theater, neither good gods nor neither God nor devil exists. Um, if it was 700, I'd hit it, but that extra 20 just isn't value. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I agree. 14 episodes. Uh, you can play normal battle stages and story stages. Uh, all stages in Moonlight Theater will proceed as NPC battles and will not provide any stage clear rewards. Okay. Um, the first episode it will be available for free and watching the next episode immediately will cost theater tickets. So you can skip with theater tickets or you can just get theater tickets at a certain point. These I think are time locked or something like that. Uh, after watching the previous stage, the next episode will be f available for free after seven days. So you can watch it without using theater tickets. Okay, literally was right underneath what I was talking about. Uh, you cannot skip Moonlight Theater stories. Skip Sisters in Shambles. Get actually wrecked. Damn, you can't hit the skip button. You actually have to watch the story. Wow. Damn. How are people going to be able to handle this? I know that a lot of people, they just, they just don't have the time or the attention span to not skip. But, dude, you're going to, wow. Get, get wrecked, just auto with like everything else, true. Yeah, there's no rewards. Why would you unlock just to skip? But there is rewards. Yeah, receive uh, receive 50 myst mystic medals right here. Oh yeah, what are you talking about? Can't skip drama incoming? Actually true. Yeah, actually true. Yeah, 50, 50 mystic medals and you can't skip? Damn, Nazarene and Shambles, Skip Sisters represent. So you do get skip t you do get uh, tickets based on like your cast rewards. Uh, so you can unlock it a lot faster. The rich get richer faster. Um, is what it is. Um, you can w you can purchase tickets with gold. Damn. The rich get richer. 500k though for 550 mystics. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Just let it. Just let it unlock after seven days. Who cares? Uh, yeah. Who cares? I mean, I've got all these, so I'm gonna be able to use all the theater tickets. Uh, get rolled. If you want, we'll do a we'll do a moonlight theater watch party. Um, so you don't have to use your your theater tickets. Uh, it's okay. 
yeah there's a six day cooldown on the picture uh and they said you get to enter for free during yeah yeah how does it work uh you get to enter the first one for free yeah you get to enter the first one for free and then after that you have to either use the theater tickets or wait for the seven day cooldown to enter the next one for free that's that's how it works yeah the theater tickets are are literally just the snap pet snacks all over again yeah that's just really what it is yeah 100 percent reddit gonna spoil the story oh yeah no you're gonna get tons and tons of spoiler story spoilers yeah unless you want to get spoiled man you're gonna have to buy all of the tickets you have to buy the packs yeah that's just the reality of it yeah spoiler alert all of these characters are gonna be in this story dude no you don't have to own every character you have to own the characters if you own the characters you get the skip tickets or the theater tickets no 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 you don't have to pay i mean you, you do have to pay if you want to skip it and go fast like if you want to enter all the acts faster but otherwise you just use your your tickets or you just wait wait hold on but there's supposed to be 14 acts right consists of 14 episodes in total so if there's 14 i still have to pay gold because i only get six tickets i only get six tickets the first one's free so that's seven so i get through act seven so unless they unless they activate another one i still have to pay for seven days wow damn that's that's crazy dude that's crazy anyways you get 50 mystic medals for every for every one that you go through uh so what is that five six seven hundred mystics just for going through this uh actually not bad yeah even if you just put it on in the background on auto and then you don't pay attention to any of it uh you get three total illustrations by clearing each episode uh illustrations that we're gonna be able to look at oh hey wait hold on cp oh it'll be it'll be permanently added oh my goodness i don't have to like i don't have to click on the other thing in order to show off my cp wow dude that's really to be really good for nazarin to flex on reddit wow that's really good yeah uh a uh, descriptor that doesn't matter in the slightest uh, is going to be permanently there man that's huge dude that's really huge chat guys this is really big this is this is actually game changing i think yeah friendship and hero descriptions will be moved to the detail screen that's fine um the expand button on cp will be removed and detailed stats will be permanently displayed um when clicking a button the list of heroes you own will be displayed in full screen which will be available on both huh why would this show wait hold on chat when clicking a button the list of heroes you own will be displayed in full screen which will be available on both the main and detail I can just but I could just go to the to the journal I could just go to the journal what does this have to do with anything yeah 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 I, I see the hero button but why couldn't I just scroll over the side yeah yeah I, I, I get that right yeah I get that it's the yellow square what does this do for me Hey, this is good though. 
favorite heroes will be displayed with the favorite icon and will be displayed at the top of the list hey that's good as long as this as long as this shows up in rta like this yo as long as rta show as long as it shows up in rta like this this is actually huge i hate scrolling through other things that i'm not going to use for rta just because the cp is higher this is actually a really really good change if this shows up in rta like this i like it i always use the compress list and it sucks finding something sometimes uh i guess yeah this is a this is a good change can you yeah yeah favorite heroes okay yeah no this is that's solid uh skill tree overview pop-up banner will be displayed okay skill tree overview that's pretty cool uh that's that's actually pretty nice yeah i, I like that okay skill tree ui improvements detail screen the main screen for heroes will be available as standard and detailed screens uh, the hero image will be magnified and some menus will be changed. Some of the pl just previously displayed menus will have their UI improved and the hero story will be added. Okay. So we can make him up closer. Hide equipment. A button that can hide equipment will be added to the detail screen. Why? huh so that i can show off my stats but without showing that i use the same the same gear on little base stats maybe or maybe it just shows all of the stuff so that you can't see that i use the same gear on every unit to just flex my speed and I can't get called out for using the same neck on every unit that I um, uh, that I use uh, that I try to flex with. That's what it really is. Uh, that's what it really is at the end of the day. Uh, filtering hide favorite hide fe hide friendship level ten. Why would you want to hide your favorited units? There's that same old resist set helm and pen neck again. Yeah, it's true. Yep, yep. A filtering function can be, uh, this is actually good. Hide friendship 10 when I'm searching for things uh, that aren't friendship 10, so I don't have to scroll like halfway down. Cause like, look, if I come here and I go, man, I f I f I'm already friendship 10 on all these on these units i need another friendship unit like look how far i have to scroll down to find my next friendship unit like way down here right like i want i want these at the very top yeah yeah like look i have to scroll for like seven years to get to my next non-friendship 10 unit yeah it's crazy that's this super good quality of life um super good quality of life okay um rotate screen button all right you can no longer use details bulk transmission and bulk trans promotion function from the arena defense team hero disca okay the memory imprint filter on the hero imprint screen will be removed okay hide max level heroes okay locked heroes only all right oh so those are some good ui changes uh equipment ui will be improved okay the modify button from the equipment details pop-up screen will be removed and will now let you move to inventory instead okay if the equipment is enhanced to the maximum, the modify and reforge buttons will be displayed. Oh, so you can just immediately go to reforge. That's pretty good, actually. Yeah, I, I like that. The modification materials will be removed and the list of modification gems will be permanently displayed if there are materials that meet the conditions. Okay. Yeah, that's that's pretty good. I like the I like the immediately go to reforge thing. 
um if the equipment's not level 85 or if the button is not eligible for reforge uh 85 or if it's it is but not available for reforge the reforge button will not be displayed got it modification gems will not be displayed if you don't have any mo matching modification gems okay uh, items equipped by other heroes will not be displayed on the equipment and artifact status screen currently equipped heroes faces images will be displayed hide equipment equipment equipped equipment uh, filter will be added to the equipment and artifact status screen the equipment detail button will be added to the right side of the equipment okay usage statistics text previously displayed as an icon usage statistics text manage equipment screen what i don't even know what that means i don't even know what that was that's weird uh the use the statistic button will be added to help set up equipment stats oh so this is like oh if this unit this unit uses this all the time uh okay got it all right so uh, understandable okay got it i've just never used it because well i, I don't need to uh chapter four story uh, or episode four chapter eight s uh the next part of the story that i haven't done um can we get this fox girl this is all i care about why smile gate why have we not gotten any of these fox girls and boys what is wrong with you do you hate money just release her. I don't even know who this is. I don't care. Release her already. Smilegate, please. Um, yeah, can we can we get this unit already? Any of the fox girls and or boy. I don't even mind if it's the fox boy. Let's just get some fox some fox representation. Um, awaken to Din. So this is the next part of a Din for those of you who are are on the Adin train. Um yeah awaken to din new skill information crystal clear soul when the ally with the highest attack starts their turn gains one focused after attacking on the caster's turn when focus is full consumes all focus activating glacial strike uh, attacks all enemies with a 50 percent chance to decrease defense for two turns and it grants torrent to the ally with the highest attack after attacking with a basic skill if it's a single tag attack deals additional damage proportional hey iron Edo. Thank you for the four months, dude. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for the prime sub, homie. Uh, torrent cannot be dispelled. Um, so it deals damage proportional to the damage dealt. Okay. Fan, uh, fra fantastic. Frozen Wind Cutter uh, attacks the enemy with re uh, repeatedly with a 75% chance, um, a 100% chance to decrease speed uh, for two turns and increase the speed of the caster for two turns. Okay, fantastic uh yeah that's not bad uh interesting wait is that it okay so that's the third one um yeah okay yeah hey what's up call her rune enhancements uh health rune increase in speed increasing effectiveness um increase damage by ankle cut by 10 percent uh, when suffering attack that targets all allies decrease damage suffered by 20 percent when more than one okay well that's not bad yeah that's, that's pretty good um do they still take 800 ap to become water yeah most likely yeah wyvern unit f number 40 yeah i feel like at this point like if you can't clear wyvern with everything that's in in the in the game uh smh my head man yeah smh my head dude um unity rune increased critical hit chance of all allies uh, by seven percent this is pretty good for pve um this is really good in allowing you to be a little bit more flexible with your gear um yeah no i mean i think this is uh pretty good i think a din is is really good for pve uh commander pavel i've already got a video out about commander pavel a lot of people are concerned about 
Well, I'm concerned about the crop job that they did with obstacle elimination here. Holy crap, dude. Could you have just like Photoshopped that down just a little bit to make it not look not look absolutely horrible? Like, what are you doing here, man? Like, come on. Like, this is this is so bad. Like, how how are you? Yo, you literally you literally made it fine for the S1 and the S no, even the S3 icon doesn't look very good. They chose length over girth. That's fair. Yeah, you were good on the S1 here. I guess it really whatever they're using, it depends on the length of No, that can't even be true either because look, this isn't even nearly as long as the S3. Man, come on, guys. Come on, dude. Come on. People be like, people in the comment section be like, this is what your this is what your gripe is. Not his horrendous modifiers or the fact that he can't one shot everything on his S2, S3. Uh, you care you, you care about the icon in the patch notes, Shogun. This is a non-factor, maybe to you, but to me, my immersion is broken. My immersion. My immersion is absolutely shattered right now. I don't even know if I'm going to pull for this unit now just because of these patch notes. This is completely unacceptable, Smilegate. But I understand for a small indie company, it, uh, it, it, you know, it is what it is. It is what it is. Looks like a dev doing what the graphic people are supposed to work on. That's yeah, true. I can't believe it. I'm mad with Pavel because effing cleavers. Yeah, but a lot of cleavers don't like him. Yeah, a lot of cleavers don't think that he does enough damage. His modifiers are super bad. His S2 doesn't immediately one shot everything. Uh, his he's got to have like seven hundred thousand attack to to even be good. Apparently, um. Yeah. Yeah, it is what it is. We'll see how he works out. The three new exclusive equipments. Number one, who asked? Number two, who who cares? Uh, and number three, Roaming Warrior Leo. The best exclusive equipment that we could have ever asked for. Uh, literally game changing. Um, yeah. Number one, command model Leica. Can I get a can I get a hands up in the chat if you even knew what this character did? I I, I didn't. Yeah, I, I didn't at all. Um I knew that you put her in C13 and turned off all of her skills. Uh or no, you 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 she still needed to S2 or whatever. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I, I don't know. Yeah, I forgot Laika existed in this game until this patch. True. Yeah, couple gimmick Laika Arby players. Yeah, I, I did get like dumpied on like like twice in RTA with it because you let it through the first time, right? You let it through the first time you see it, and then after that, you're like, oh, his whole game plan revolves around me letting this Laika through. Banned. Yeah. Yeah, get me once for content. No, not the not the second time. Yeah, it's not gonna happen. Anyways, like as uh, speed imprint. Immediately, if I scrolled down to the comment section on this, the first thirty-seven posts about this are gonna be like against a speedy, but Flitica doesn't. Oh my god, dude! Why can't Flitica just get ten more speed? Bro, why can't we go back to the times where Flitica was one of the most oppressive openers in the game? Dude, I don't understand. Why Why can't you just give Flitica 10 to 27 more speed? This is actually bullshit, Smilegate. Oh my god, dude. Just, just change her. Look, man, I haven't been able to use Flitica since, like, Season 3. Oh... Oh my god, dude. Oh, this is bullshit, man. Yeah, DPS increase on S3. 
Yeah, so a supporting fire uh, increases combat readiness of the ally with the highest attack instead of a random ally. This is probably going to be the one that you're going to go with, right? Um, volley fire increases volley's sleep effect by 10%. Uh, no strip on her S3, and this is only 85% chance. Uh, so you get double 15 percented. Um, yeah. Uh, increased damage dealt by volley fire by 10%. Damage, damage opener, Leica. Yeah, I completely agree. Um, yeah, fantastic. Cool. Uh, so most people, if they're going to use this for whatever reason, are going to probably just use the S1. Um, because the most of the other ones are, are, are not real. I don't even know how you would use Leica. I'll be real. Yeah, my take's probably lukewarm here. People are going to be in the comment section. They're going to be like, Shogun, you're so stupid. If you use volley fire with this, this, and this, uh, it's it's actually really good. Yeah, I, I don't remember asking. Yeah, that's crazy, dude. Uh, Roaming Warrior Leo also got speed. Flitica users in shambles yet again. Yeah, like a power creep Flitica, I completely agree. Um, Flitica users just get to watch two units get speed EEs. Yeah, get wrecked. Get wrecked Flitica stands. Uh, S1 uh, or fire slingshot increases fire slingshots, decrease attack chance by 10%. Uh, Go Raku S3 increase effectiveness of the caster for two turns when using Go Raku. But the real winner here, the real meme master here, Go Raku. 30% chance to activate Fire Shock Bomb as an extra attack against a random enemy when using Go Raku. Now, for those of you who have absolutely no idea what roaming warrior leo does or why this is such a meme uh by the way roaming warrior leo sucks so bad that i haven't even used my leo imprints i used them as four star dogs over imprinting roaming warrior leo uh just gonna throw that out there uh so fire shock bomb this fires a shock bomb at the enemy with an 80%, 80 to 100% chance to decrease defense for two turns and decrease the skill cooldown of Go Raku by one turn and at the end of the turn detonates the bombs inflicted on the enemy. That's a 30% chance to not only decrease the defense of the unit that this is going to go in on, but also drop the bombs on them. So actually not bad. Um, if I put literally all of my best speed gear on him, um, we're looking at a, let's go with this. Let's go with this. Now I will meme with this, but this is not viable. I don't think that this is viable. Uh, it is what it is. Uh, no, we throw this on here. I can make after the plus 10 uh, I can make a 308 roaming warrior Leo a 308 roaming warrior Leo that's going to strip immunities bombs and then has a 30% chance to to further bomb um, It's gonna be interesting because you'd pair him with like uh, Caesarea, uh, the stuff like that. Yeah, Jatai rolling around in his grave. That's right, Jatai tried forever to make Roaming Warrior Leo work. Hold on, his last imprint is in speed, right? No, it's just attack, okay. I was gonna say, I was wondering if I was like w w missing out on some speed or something there. Uh, so we're gonna meme around with this dude. Yeah, yeah, Pirate Captain Flan too. My completely unawakened, un-anything Pirate Captain Flan. Uh, I'll end up having to build this maybe. Um, we're gonna grace Roaming Warrior Leo most likely. Uh, and then potentially build Pirate Captain Flan just for memes. Uh, I don't know. We're going to play around with some stuff with this tomorrow just because I think it would be funny. 
oh that's what's gonna happen and then i'm gonna make a clickbait video like every other youtuber and be like oh my god roaming warrior leo is the most giga chad unit that has ever existed um so be ready for that by the way like fave subscribe if you haven't already and somehow you've gotten 40 minutes into the video uh without being subscribed uh anyways the last one's gonna be furious and again like i said with a din if you literally have not been able to to beat wyvern 13 with with all of the wyvern 13 tools at your disposable at your disposable disposal they're just making it even easier furious who is a, a staple in wyvern 13 uh is going to get some more attack um and more debuffs on literally every one of these increase quick draws burn effect chance by 25 percent restrict the target for two turns when using fatal bullet or has a 75 percent chance to decrease hit chance for two turns when using fatal bullet now one of the big things here to take into consideration is that if you use the restrict for two turns this will allow you to um this will allow you to also use furious in banshee 13 as well as in c13 in katie's 13 because restrict is going to allow you an easier time at banshee 13 so this is going to allow furious to be a lot more versatile when it comes to hunts you can build furious into three of the most important hunts uh, i still think that a13 is important but you know a lot of people will disagree with me uh because whatever um so having the restrict one i think personally is probably one of the better ones because it does allow you to use furious in multiple different um multiple different um ones so making it more versatile allows you the flexibility right uh, how does the restrict make it easier doesn't she just cleanse it who banshee no banshee doesn't doesn't cleanse uh restrict no uh, that's why people use Lucy uh, to to do Banshee Banshee hunt as well. Uh, can you equip an EE on a Grace of Unity unit? Yes, yes you can. Yeah, we talked about that a bit earlier. Um, yeah, no Banshee Banshee. Uh, it stops Banshee's whole thing. It doesn't let her push up. Yeah, yeah. Uh, anyways, a new ad artifact, prelude to a new era. Uh, four star, three portrait of uh, portrait of saviors. So this is really good. Um, yeah, yeah. This is this is this is solid, dude. I like it. I like it. Celebrate the new era with a cannon salute when attacking if the enemy's health is 50% or more. Increases damage dealt by 20%. The other nice thing too is you literally don't have to level this up. Isn't Lilius dead in the story though? Technically dead, and this is C. Lilius though. Uh, does this mean Guilty Gear is not coming back? Most likely, yes. Yeah, this right here is the prelude to Guilty Gear most likely not coming back. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this is C. Lilius, because this is Commander Pavel. That's where I went back in the back. Uh, but she fell off of a cliff. We didn't see a body confirmation on Lilius, so... Yeah is what it is yeah so this is going to be really good you don't have to you don't have to level it up unless you just want the extra residual stats here from the attack and health so you can save some stuff if you still get um uh if you still just want to get the extra 20 percent right uh, obviously you're going to want to level it up because i mean 180 attack is is still pretty big um but it is what it is right uh expedition bros uh rotation cool coin shop list renewal so we're getting tenebria we're getting mortelix the great mortelix yeah chance uh haven't we gotten tenebria before i just feel like we see tenebria fucking everywhere i know there's multiple tenebrias but like i just feel like we've gotten tenebria before 
like can we get can we get somebody else maybe i mean most people aren't buying stuff from the 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 rgb shop anyways but like yeah uh we're also getting uh belion and ambitious tywin which belion is actually really good uh because once you buy belion then you can buy all of her imprints uh which is which is really great what is the covenant token for new players yeah i, I think the covenant token is terrible yeah yeah, I think the, the, the Covenant token is bad. No, you have to have a triple S copy of a unit. Oh, well, you don't have to have the triple S, but you've had to have pulled enough units for the triple S, and then you get tokens after you have maxed it out. Uh, I think that the Covenant token is terrible. I think that it should be from the first copy. Every dupe afterwards should give you a, uh, a coin, um, just like the Moonlight ones. Yeah moonlight after you've gotten your first one after the dupes you get you get your your coins yeah it's only for five stars yeah it's only for five stars i think it's terrible uh i've been against it for ever um i i think that it is completely worthless to the average player yeah i i think that the the covenant one is completely worthless for the average player um yeah agreed uh, so we've already talked about the Ed buffs. I, I don't think it's going to be enough to change him. Um, a new Awaken pack will be added. Of course, the Rank 20 Celebration pack. Um, yo, Catalyst Selectors. Rune Selectors. I'm going to buy this. Yeah, uh, I'll probably buy that. Three times within the sale. No, maybe I won't. Oh, that's, it, 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 well, I'll buy pack two probably. Pack one is worthless. Penguins. Yeah, who cares? Yeah, who who cares, right? Yeah. Rank 40 pack. Uh, Potion of Ascension uh, is okay. Um, class Summon Selector Ticket. Interesting. Hey, okay, so they confirmed Arunka, Lua, and Amid. Wait, no, hold on. No, these are just going to be added to Rand's relationships. Doesn't necessarily mean that we're going to get Amid, but I bet we get Amid. Yo, I bet we get Amid. You want to know why? Because I think that Amid's going to come back as some like crazy possessed character. Yeah, I think we're going to get corrupted Amid, honestly. Like, I, I hope we do. Yeah. Yeah, I, I hope we do. I mean, to be fair though, other NPCs, uh, you know, I'm just gonna point out, hold on, if we go to, um, if we go here and we go details, uh, where's relationships? Yeah. Yeah, where's my, where's my Eno? Where is it at? Where is it at? I mean, yeah, we're going to get a Runka. She they literally showed her S3. Yeah, where is where is this? Sag. Next year. Yeah, we're we're getting it, dude. Don't worry, boys. The next Guilty Gear rerun the, the next Guilty Gear rerun will be the one. Yeah. Yeah. This, it, don't worry, boys. Don't worry. This is, it, 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 next time. Next time, we're definitely getting her. Yeah, you know, she has an in-game sprite. You know, she's in the, she's in the friendship. Don't worry, boys. Don't worry. We're getting her 100%. Absolutely, without a doubt, unequivocally. Yeah. I know it, you know it, everybody knows that we're going to get it, dude. Yeah, we're 100% going to get it. An issue where in, with dual attacks, animation was not displayed properly um, after being hit by uh, Ed's rise will be fixed. Okay. An issue where the seal effect was not applied properly to some five-star hero Xeno passive. Yo, what? 
I didn't know this, that Zeno didn't give a crap about Seal. Are you kidding me? That's overpowered against a, a, a Meru. How did anybody figure that out? What, what Zeno enjoyer was like, man, I got sealed by, I got sealed by a Meru. Or actually what a Meru enjoyer sealed a Zeno and then was like, bro, I'm still hitting this thing for the same amount. The who? The who figured this out? Yeah, absolutely. Legend level Xeno players just dominating aim errors by not getting rid of star uh, star armor. You know, it always bugs me because canonically Xeno is like disgustingly overpowered. Like Xeno is one of the most powerful like like beings. Like yeah it sucks man it sucks an issue where the passive skill icon was displayed as an active icon on the top left corner when using additional skill um due to passive skills five star yeah uh, okay um okay it's just icons uh do we have anything important in here an issue where repeat battling function was turned on upon entering NPC battle stage. Uh, okay, that's fine. An issue where you could not completely exit the story after watching it and could not skip the story when tapping both of the view story buttons simultaneously. Damn, get wrecked, skip sisters. Yeah. Get rolled, dude. Boss in game, Giga Chad, boss's playable character. Yeah, people leave. Yeah, exactly, dude. Yeah, 100%. Belion at home, although she's still super powerful. Um, okay, battle, an issue where hit count effect was not displayed properly when attacked by a skill that targets all enemies when some of the allies did not take damage in the battle will be fixed. Yeah, what, I wonder what situation that happened in yeah an issue where the draft music was played instead of the battle background music when you yield during the draft in world arena round mode that that breaks my immersion right there yeah that's that's pretty yeah uh ooh, 11 new songs are gonna be added hell yeah dude cat jams um ui improvement the name will be changed Pilgrim's Crossing. The name will be changed to Recruit. Oh, so this is, wait, this is specialty change is gonna be changed to Recruit instead of specialty change. Oh, they're gonna combine a bunch of stuff. Okay, okay. Just today, Smilegate is like, you will read the story and you will like it, yeah. Yeah, exactly, dude. Yeah, 100%. Okay, so it looks like they're going to be squishing all this together into recruit so that they can make more space for grace of growth. Um, okay, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Waiting improvement, rating room improvements, 300 equipment to 700. Uh, new and returning player benefits, 70 free covenant summons event now for new and returning players will be av uh, available. Uh, three buff effects for returning. Oh, hey, they're going to go to 14 days. Okay. All right. Well, that's good. You know what, though? I always see this. Whenever they do a thing for new and returning players, you'll have people in the comments section that'll be like, but what about veteran players? Why don't we get this? What are you doing for veteran players? This is unacceptable new players get special stuff returning players get special stuff but not me i've been here the whole time and i hated every minute of it like bro you got more overall pulls by just logging in every day than a new player would from this who cares yeah who cares dude chill out yeah chill yeah how recent do I have to be to be considered a new player? 
uh, chances are, like, literally, um, you would have had to have started, like, right now. Like, you'd have to be a new account. Yeah, like, literally log in. But I'm pretty sure that you already had this. Uh, returning player, I don't know how long you've had to have been logged out or not logged in to be considered a returning player. Um, yeah. I started during the ReZero rerun. Well, yeah, that was a while ago. Sorry if this has been mentioned, but the coupon code for uh, Mystics is active. Yeah, yeah, it has been. Yeah. And you need to get it in quick. Yeah. Yeah, you need to get it in. It, get it in quick. Man, this is a lot of extra stuff. Um, NPC heroes will be changed to Bona Kim voice actor. People play with voices on. All right, we got a NPC, an issue where notifications did not appear on the right side. Um, an issue where the mis message related to the break period, which was removed due to content improvement continued, um, will be fixed. One mission for Moonlight Blessing, the arena mission will be changed to Reach Gold 5 from Reach Gold 1. Oh, okay, so they make it easier. Okay, that's not bad. Yeah, that's not bad. Yeah, okay. Easy, dude. Just get gold five. It's, yeah. Uh, let's see. An issue where the move the move to button did not uh, function properly. Okay. Uh, an issue where the filter did not function properly and an error message was displayed when using the buff debuff filter on the potion of ascension pop-up screen will be fixed man some of these are so obscured um so obscure that i'm like how did they find this like the xeno change like how how did they find that that's crazy um let's see an issue where button size intermittent issue where uh, you were moved to the previous screen. An issue where exclusive equipment conversion did not proceed properly with an error mission. Uh, an issue where an error mission message was displayed when tapping the back button after entering the main screen of the Moonlight Blessing screen by tapping the text part of the Moonlight Blessing Heroes after entering the details of the Moonlight Blessing Hero from the ready screen of the side story will be fixed. What? Huh? Okay. An issue where the location of the grade star filter will be changed. Okay. An issue where the image of the rep hero was not changed as altered element a din when the other players checked the profile after altering a din's element. Okay, I know that one was really big. Yeah, that one was really big for me. An issue where the location of the grade star filter button was changed when applying the grade class element filter on the potion of ascension pop-up screen. Man, a lot of people be using these pop-up, these uh, potions of extend, uh, of ascension. Man, that's crazy. Yeah. Some heroes skill artifact description text have been changed to make the effect range clearer. No functional changes. Okay. This is all good stuff, but you need to address gear issues eventually. Doesn't matter how much you upgrade the car when the engine is broken. Growing heroes is not a problem. The problem is getting them properly outfitted. Half a year of grind. Get one to two heroes done is not enough in game that has over 250 plus heroes. I'll be real. If it takes you six months of grinding to get one to two heroes geared, you are either not grinding enough or you're stupid. Like, I'll be real. Because I get pieces of gear that are adequate and potential upgrades almost every hunt buff. And my gear is better than your gear. If you, if you are only looking at the absolute pinnacle of gear, then your standards are 100% way too good. Like if you're trying to get 460 gear score, then yes. Yeah, uh, yeah, okay, sure, yeah. 
Yeah, 80 gear score only club. Okay, I guess. Yeah. But if you're if you're literally sitting there and you're like, oh, this gear score, this gear is only 68. Trash, dude. Yeah, garbage. Yeah, this is yeah. Maybe six months to get literally the perfect gear for a specific niche hero. Yeah. But in the same time, in the literal same time, you're you're gearing up other characters. The only people who can be that picky are like mace level, mace uh, level of gear. Yeah, I mean, or Jinte or Elf Mage are literally level legend level players. And if you're complaining about gear on stove, you are not that level of gear. You're literally not. Yeah, it, it, that's that's what it is. Speed doesn't matter. Call is super slow. Call shits on me, and my gear is better than calls. Yeah, my gear is better than calls. Uh, he's just a better player than me, and he's legend. So you don't have to have speed. That's the problem. Everybody tunnel vision speed. Speed, 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 speed. If you're not going first, you're just dead. You got to change it up, man. You got to literally change your the paradigm of what you're searching for. You probably pass up so many good pieces of gear because all you're doing is chasing speed. What am I supposed to run on Sid or Rand? Just don't run them. Who cares? Yeah, who cares? Both of those units are easy to counter. Just, yeah, just don't run them. Run tanks, run Arius, run Eaton. Am I supposed to run Mui and Furious and RTA? No, build other units. Yeah, build other units. If you're trying to get to like champ rank and you're like real real early on first off speed's not it standard play standard play is 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 the way to go that's just the reality of it yeah if you're trying to speed cleave in rta yeah you're gonna get rolled that's just the way it is yeah i mean i'm not saying i am i'm literally not dismissing that there are gear issues. I think that there's a lot of things that they could do to make gear issues a lot easier. I think having the crafting event up 24 seven is a great idea. I think that, you know, um, modification gems doing one better than the previous, or at least like squeezing it to where you only can get the one or, or better. You can't get, like you can only go one or better, like every time. Like there should not be a continued range of you either get eight or nine, but chance if it rolled like a five percent, it's still eight, right? Yeah, it's stupid. If I if I fail eight times in a row, like because it's a ten percent chance, yeah, that's dumb, man. Yeah, well, yeah. Yeah, uh, it is what it is, right? You know, I, I think there's a lot of, I think there are still a lot of equipment issues and there's a lot of things that they can do to improve it. But if you are spending six months to gear one character, you are, you are doing it wrong. That's just the way it is. That's just, that's just the way it is. Yeah, you're just doing it wrong. Um, Like literally if I get upgrades every hunt buff, every couple of hunt buffs then then other people further down the chain absolutely absolutely are oh yeah you just need to to look at things holistically instead of i only care about speed substat yeah and that's my opinion on that one yeah that's my that's my opinion on that one why restrict for furious uh b13 c13 that c there you go yeah, will the game crashes finally stop? Probably not. Probably not. Anyways, uh, I've been talking about this for a, an entire hour. Uh, there was a lot of stuff in it. There's a lot of good stuff. We're going to meme with Roaming Warrior Leo. Um, I think Grace could have been explained a bit better, uh, but we'll find out about it tomorrow. Um, yeah, I think overall is, is some good changes. There's a lot of UI fluff, uh, but there's there's more stuff that's coming, I'm sure. Um, I'm super excited for the story for Fallen Land. Uh, I hope that the story writing is really, really, really good. Yeah, I, I, I hope it's super good. Um, I'm excited. And then next one is going to be the top designer Straws World. 
that's that's what it is as always if you guys like this content like face subscribe comment down below um and i'll catch you guys on the next one take it easy homies peace out Thank you.